Hello everyone, my name is Claire. Um, I've wanted to do this YouTube video for a really, really long time to talk about my herniated slip bulge disc, whatever term you want to use for it. Um, I, I think they're kind of slightly interchangeable and to be honest, whatever you call it, it causes exactly the same amount of horrendous pain. Um, I know that I've got a hell of a lot of kind of support and um, comfort from searching on YouTube myself to find other people and their stories um, just to know that someone else gets the pain because you know when you're at work and you say I you know I've got a really bad back I'm really 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 in pain right now um, I find that the normal response to that not particularly at work but just in terms of wherever is people go yeah me too yeah I think I pulled something and um you're, you just have to smile and go, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Ah. Um, whereas people that genuinely have got this horrendous bulge slipped herniated disc, they know the level of pain. They know the fact that you're up at 4 a.m. because you can't lie down in tears because you're so, you just don't know what to do with yourself. Nothing gets rid of the pain. You've taken God knows how many painkillers. They haven't worked. If you have a bulge on to slip disc, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I just kind of wanted to put myself out there and say, I I know the pain, I'm sorting the pain, I'm on a journey. I hate that phrase, but I am on a journey. I was on the journey before I even realised I was. It started probably about two years ago. Um, and I have a date for a micro dissectomy on the 17th of June. And so I wanted to go talk you guys through my journey. I really need to stop using my journey. But I wanted to sort you guys through that, um, and then hopefully, if this if it's of any use to anyone, maybe actually kind of follow up with videos of how I'm doing and how the surgery has gone. Hopefully, hopefully successfully, but just to kind of give you guys, I guess, an insight because I, you know, people will be having slip turning just for a very long time, and hopefully, this will be of some use to you. Um, so going back to the beginning of my journey, um, which was two years ago, I would say I kind of was like, you know what, I've got, I've got a bad back and it's not getting better. You know, it feels like it's a bit, I didn't, you know, I used to run, which I don't know whether or not that is what caused the bulge disc, I have no idea. Um, but I wasn't running at the time. I'd been okay for a while, I wasn't really doing any particularly exertive exercises, um, which again might have been a problem, but yeah, so I kind of was like, no, I need to go to the doctor. I went to the doctor, I basically got told to go to, I think first I had an x-ray, of which they said there's nothing actually, we can't see anything wrong, um, which obviously is good, um, but frustrating at the same time. So then I went to set to um, physio. All of this on the NHS, in London had an incredibly long wait um, for each part of this journey of where I then saw a physio. And the physio appointments themselves, they were 20 minutes long, of which I would say 10 to 15 minutes were them asking you questions that you'd already answered at the doctors. And then showing you exercises to do that I'd already looked up online and I was already doing. So I was incredibly frustrated. I'm equally a massive fan of the NHS. I think we're incredibly ridiculously lucky to have this in the UK. I don't want to in any way feel entitled, but it's, in my opinion, after this, it's not working. Something is massively broken. I think a lot of people are of that view and I kind of felt as though I really experienced it um, over the last two years. Um, so anyway, after the physio hadn't worked and I was doing it at home every day and I went back to the doctors um, and they said, okay, we'll send you for an MRI. I then had to wait a few months for the MRI. Then someone called me up. Um, I don't, I can't remember who it was. It wasn't a doctor. I think it was, um, I think it was a kind of a trained nurse. I don't know, but you know, the way it works is that someone looks at your MRI, who looks at every MRI, and then says what's wrong, and someone then calls you to tell you what your options are. So this lady called me, really, really nice, and explained that I had a bulge disc, and 
that I kind of had a few options. I could just kind of continue doing the physio and hope that it fixed itself, or I could go for a steroid injection. I was so desperate, I said, I want to go for a steroid injection immediately. Please send me for, um, I just want to do anything to get rid of this horrendous pain. Um, so I went for the steroid injection again. I then had to wait another, say, three months, I think it was, for the steroid injection. And it was a horrible experience, and not because of anything that the NHS did. My doctors were wonderful. They made me feel extremely at ease as much as they could. But you're awake. They're sticking a massive needle in you. You feel it. You can see the screen. It just isn't nice at all. And um, that happened. And you're meant to feel... From everything I've read and done my research, if it works, you know, so what they do is they're putting an the injection of some kind in around your nerves to kind of calm the so steroids, so, so it calms the inflammation. Apparently, if it works, you, um, you feel it pretty immediately after they do it. I remember them rolling me off the bed after they'd done the injection and just being in so... My leg was in so much pain. Um, and I just knew that it hadn't worked. And they were really nice and said, look, you know, sometimes it takes a while, it, you know. Anyway, I think that was my lowest weekend. And it was with the weekend... I think this was in kind of end of January of this year. It was the weekend that I realised that something was really wrong here. And... I needed help and I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't getting it, but I didn't feel like anyone was really hearing me um, about how severe the pain was getting. At that point as well, towards the end of January, I started to get, um, I was waking up at around 4am in the morning with severe pain in my left leg. Um, and it felt like almost gravity was just pulling at it causing the pain and I had to stand up and even then it did slightly relieve the pain but I had to walk around and in general I have to walk around a lot to kind of get the, to really relieve the pain and I feel incredibly lucky that my pain relief at the moment is walking you know people who have the worst kind of herniated disc they can't move and I am very lucky that I am able to still move at this point so then on the NHS, someone calls you three weeks after the injection to ask if it's worked. They called me. I said no, and I was still extremely desperate. So they said, okay, the next stage is that you come back for an appointment with the pain doctor. So I was like, great. I got a letter. The appointment was in September of this year. I just, I didn't know what, you know, I just felt heartbroken and desperate and so upset about the fact that the idea, so you gotta remember that this wasn't in May I got this letter, this was probably back in what, March, March, at beginning of March. Um, it, yeah, it was a really low point for me and the point where I basically decided that I had to go private um, even if it was going to get me in debt. I'm hopeful it's not going to because of, um, I, you know, I, I have health insurance now and I'm hopeful they will cover a lot of the cost but if they don't I will get a loan out I will do whatever it takes to get a micro dissectomy in order to fix this so what I did is I went private I went and saw a neurosurgeon he did another MRI he told me that it was a severe herniation in his opinion um, and one that he highly recommended um, oh sorry should have turned this on silent it's only from O2, don't you hate that when you think you're really popular? Anyway, um, yeah, so he kind of was said, you've got three options again, you can either do nothing, and I was like, nah, that's not happening. Um, you can either have another, uh, have another steroid injection, and I was like, mm, mm. Um, or we do surgery, and he said, I highly recommend surgery, and I was like, dude, I am on board. I am so, so on board. Um, so I have a date for my micro dissectomy, which is on 17th of June, so less than a month away. I'm so excited and t I'm nervous. I'm really nervous and I think more than anything I'm nervous about the very small but yet per possible chance it won't do anything. Because I just feel that, uh, 
but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to manage the pain afterwards, if that is the case. But the success rates are good, fingers crossed it does work. So I want to do some videos to update you guys on everything, um, talk about some other things I guess, there's so many other elements and that's the problem is that how this has affected my life, the pain, I think that's one video I could do, I could do a whole video on how the pain has affected my life. And I don't want these to be really depressing videos, I want them to be a, hey, there's someone else out there that is going through this, you're not alone. And I'm, you know, I'm still positive, I'm still a positive person. It's really hard to stay positive, but I'm going to, I'm not going to let this blooming herniated disc win. Um, so I want to do some videos about it um, and hopefully help some people and help myself because I know putting myself out here will hopefully um, make me feel a bit better about everything. So thank you very much for watching and listening and um, please do get in touch if you, I mean I've never done a YouTube video before, what do you do? You know, I think you leave a comment? Yeah, leave a comment um, if you're going through something similar and just want to chat about it because that's kind of what I just want to do a lot of the time and like I said you know those people that go oh yeah yeah I pulled a muscle in the back the other day you, you just you want to slap them and uh you know I would I'm here feeling the real pain of herniated disc and um yeah just I'm here so hopefully I will talk to some of you soon thanks bye